Hello everyone, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara, the dance doctor, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, in honor of Body Movement Boot Camp Release Week, we are doing a body movement challenge. This is a 64 count body movement routine where we're getting into shoulders, hips, rib cage, head and neck, and a bunch of different styles of movement. You guys loved the twerk challenge so much that I thought I would make another challenge. Um, I have this video on my Instagram and in my YouTube shorts if you do want to have that as a reference because I am not going to be dancing it with music in this video for copyright reasons, but we are dancing to the song Jejele um, by Mr. Easy and I will put a link to the song in the description box and you can also um, follow along with me either on Instagram or on YouTube shorts as I am doing it from behind. Okay, and the, the routine that I did on those are is a bit longer, but we are doing the first eight counts of eight of what I did, okay? Before we start really quick, I want to remind you to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I upload more stuff like this. Also, every movement that we do in this body movement routine is included and explored and explained in great depth in my new course, Body Movement Boot Camp, which comes out on June 20th, which if you're watching this video in real time is tomorrow. Um, and so if as you're learning this routine, you feel like you're getting stuck or you don't understand a specific movement, do check out that course because um, if anything in this routine is difficult for you, it means you need that course. And even if it's not, you probably still need it because we're working on arm styling, we're working on body rolls, undulations, isolations, all of the stuff that you need to be a fantastic dancer and feel really good in your body is in that course. So um, do check that out on June 20th on my website, dancedoctoronline.com. Now, without further ado, let's get dancing. So like I said, we're not dancing with music today. I am just going to kind of incrementally teach you the routine and talk about uh, what we are doing with our bodies, okay? So let's get right into it. So the first eight counts are, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm taking three steps forward slowly. As I do that, I'm gonna lead with my rib cage and my shoulder and extend the arm out, right, left, and right. Always leading my arm movement with my elbow, okay? So I go right, left, right. And now from here, I'm gonna step on my left, I'm gonna bring the right arm in and I'm gonna go seven and eight. So here, I'm just using my scapula to create a change in, um, in my body. So I'm here and I'm gonna go pull, pull, pull. I'm pulling one side of the scapula toward the spine at a time. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I'm going to channel the rhythm into my hips. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, slow circle, five, six, seven, eight. So I do one circle in four counts, one in two counts, and two in one count, okay? So after I go seven and eight, I go hip circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we are gonna channel the rhythm up into our 
cervical and upper thoracic spine. So after I finish seven, eight, I'm going to go ahead and keep the hip stationary now. And I'm going to create a circle with my chest and my head. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that is the third count of eight. All I'm doing is kind of opening up my chest and letting the head fall to the side, back, side, and forward in conjunction with what the shoulders are doing. Okay, so the thing about body movement is that it is not inherently complicated. These are movements that your body naturally wants to do. We just have to release tension and allow them to happen, okay? So let's go ahead and go from the beginning. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Upper body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really important there that you're not holding any tension in your neck or your shoulders. You're just kind of allowing um, the sequencing through that upper spine. Okay? Now, from here, I'm going to create a Full, uh, full torso circle. So I'm going to now incorporate the rib cage, chest, and hips all together. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just like what we did with the hip circle, I'm doing one circle in four counts, one in two counts, and two in one count. And as I do the four count one, I'm going to kind of hinge over one, two, three, four, five, six, and then here I'm going to come back up. As we know, when I'm creating this circle, my hips and my rib cage are moving in the same direction, but at opposite times. Yeah, so one is north and one is south at all times. They're never going to be going in the same direction. I'm never going to send my rib cage forward and my hips forward because I don't think it's possible, okay? So we finished with the upper body, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you keep your knees nice and bent in body movement. It's very important that we have bent knees so that we stay nice and grounded and we're able to use the floor to help us bolster our movement. So let's go from the beginning. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check and make sure that your arms aren't doing anything crazy while we're doing these isolations. When we do the hip isolations, they can come to the hips. I actually think that that visceral connection helps us feel what we're doing. But when we're doing the upper body and the full torso circle, try and just allow your arms to hang almost as if you have like weights in them that are kind of pulling them down so that the elbows don't start to um, get out of control, okay? So from here, Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go forward on my right, lifting my back heel off the ground, and I'm going to do shoulder circles forward to back, allowing that to affect my chest. So I'm doing a, a shoulder circle that is accompanied by a chest undulation. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm doing three slow, two fast, and my foot is going forward, diagonal, more to the side, and then coming together. Okay, so I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, there's one more, seven, and then coming together. So I like to think about that as um, numbers on the clock. Yeah, so I start at 
12, and then I go 11, 10, 9, and, and bring the feet together, okay? So I just did 7, 8. I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, let's go from the beginning. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Upper body, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the feet um, to start, but instead of doing an undulation now in the thoracic spine, I'm going to do an undulation in my lumbar spine, which means I'm going to be undulating the hips. So I go one, two, and I'm actually only going to do two of those, and they're in two counts each. So I go one, two, three, four. Okay, I always like to think about, like, we call the pelvis the pelvic bowl, and I like to think that it's full of water. And so when I'm trying to create undulations, I think about spilling the water behind me and then spilling the water in front of me, and that tends to really help get that feeling of undulating, okay? So we go one, two, three, four. Now we're going to bring the foot directly out to the side, five, six, and then I'm going to go and seven and eight. Okay? So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight. Okay? Now, um, on five, six, I'm just kind of sinking into this side. I'm lifting the left side of my hip as much as possible, okay? Let's go from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hips, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay, from here, now I am going to lift this side of my hip and I'm going to do a side undulation to the right. So eight, the left side of my lip is, um, the left side of my hip is lifted. Now I'm going to lift the right side, crunch, extend and come up. Okay, here, crunch, tilt over to the left to extend the right side and then stack everything at the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down. So I go lift and up, and I'm going to lift this shoulder, the right shoulder, to then crunch and bring it back down. So I go side and up, side and down. Okay? So we just did our undulations. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so those are the counts. Again, from the hip undulation, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do four figure eights, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so when we're doing figure eights, really do try to create, I like to think about the eight is happening, um, 
I'm drawing the eight with the front of my hip, okay? So I bring it around and back, and then around and back. So one side at a time, creating that eight. Very important that the shoulders aren't moving while we do this, and the knees aren't moving while we do this. They're staying nice and bent, and I'm creating this movement as much as I can from my um, abdominals, okay? So let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? From here, this is the last eight counts that we're going to do. We're going to undulate up. So I end here, kind of settled into my left side of my hip. Now, I'm going to send my pelvis forward and sequence through the spine to come up. As I do that, I'm taking my arms out to the side again, leading with the elbow and extending, letting the elbow come down with the chest, lifting just the arms now, okay? So we're gonna go, um, we went five, six, seven, eight, Undulate one, two, three, four. Sorry, that's one, two. One, two, down three, four, arms up five, six, and then we're gonna go and seven and eight and. Okay, and that is the end of the routine as I am teaching it. Those are your eight counts of eight, okay? So we do our undulation one, two, three, Four. So I undulate up, I end with my chest up, and then my chest is going to come down with the elbows. Then it's going to lift back up when I lift my arms again. And then from here, I'm doing scapula, 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 and. Okay? So pull, 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 pull. Yeah, one side of the scapula is coming closer to the spine at a time, okay? Which actually kind of initiates and shifts my entire upper body. So from the new part, one, two, sorry, I keep wanting to do four counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and. All right, let's try it from the beginning. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one. Five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and. All right, let's do the whole thing one more time, and then you should hit my Instagram or YouTube shorts and practice it with me with music. So we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, seven, and a one, three, five, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and. All right, so that is our routine, our body movement challenge. As I mentioned in the beginning, if any of these movements are challenging for you or you feel like you don't understand them or you need to practice them more or you need more information on what you're supposed to do, please check out Body Movement Boot Camp. It comes out, if you're watching this on the day that this video releases, tomorrow. And if not, it came out on June 20th, 2023. Um, I'm so excited about this course. I'm so proud of it. You guys are going to love it. Everything that you all ask me for, all the comments that I get, all the messages that I get asking questions, how do I do this? You know, I, I feel so awkward. I'm so uncoordinated. I need to work on my arm styling. I, I can't do body rolls. All of that stuff is in this course. It's four weeks. It's $99. And you get the video lessons for life. When you buy it, you can go back and rewatch them and follow along with the lessons as frequently as you like. And um, in the grand scheme of things, with the amount of time and money and energy that you invest in your dancing, this is a drop in the bucket, but it's really going to serve you. I can say that with 100% confidence because these are techniques that I've used to help my in-person students develop all of these things. So um, do not sleep on that course. Go check it out. It is on my website, dancedoctoronline.com. If you're watching this on Monday, it'll be on my website tomorrow, but otherwise, it's up on my website, check it out. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. I'm just so, so proud of it and I'm so excited for you guys to try it. So um, keep practicing this routine. Like I said, if you have any doubts about it, check out Body Movement Bootcamp and otherwise go to my Instagram or shorts here on YouTube and practice the routine with me. And I'd love to see videos of you all doing the challenge. I didn't get any videos of the twerking challenge, but I know people did it because it has a lot of views. So send me your videos. I won't post them if you don't want me to. It just makes me feel so good to, to know that I'm not just <laughs> talking into a void. I, I love connecting with you guys. That really is the very best thing about um, what I'm doing here on YouTube. So don't hesitate to reach out to me on Instagram or via email or wherever. So um, yeah. That's all I have to say for today, and until next time, keep dancing.